hi guys and you're welcome once again to my youtube channel my name is Ola Sukomi Agogolo and I'm a PhD student at the University of Kent and in this video I just want to share with you two most important skills that every PhD student should have and number one is what non-technical writing skill yeah as a PhD student you are very technical very professional specialized in your area of um, writing particularly and um, you use all sort of registers and by register I mean themes that are actually associated with your area of professionalism or area of research so but then it is very important that you know that there are some non-professionals who are not exactly within your area of specialization who are interested in reading your research they're interested in knowing the implication of your studies especially when it speaks to other sectors so you want to learn how to write and unlearn how not to write technically so you want to learn how to write non-technically and unlearn how to write technically so you need to learn how to use simple languages replace it with all of those registers that are known within the limited um, cycles and of course write in a very simple in a very simple form so every other person can understand what you're talking about they can easily grasp what your research is all about without having to break in their neck checking the dictionary so number two is networking this is very important as a PhD student you are moving towards and digging directly further into specializing so you want people to know you for a particular aspect of your, area, of your interest you want people to know you for special skills especially in terms of research perhaps innovation or contribution to knowledge in a certain area so it is also in sacrosanct that you network in line with this. Everywhere you go to, learn how to talk about your research. Learn how to talk about your passion. Learn how to talk about your discovery. Learn how to talk about your concern. These are all the ways you can easily connect with other people. Meet people, socialize, go to events, go to conferences. These are networking platforms. And most importantly, on LinkedIn, share your thoughts. Are you doing a literature review at the moment or you discover something contrary to your thinking or something that reignites your thoughts it is very good for you to share such thoughts on LinkedIn and of course you want to be as academic as possible and expressive as, as possible don't let your voice be hidden this is an alternative way of finding your voice while doing a research also very important is uh, Twitter Using Twitter is very interesting, it's a very big community and um, you want to tweet your thoughts, even in single lines, in two sentences and that's it, that helps you register what your thoughts are and over the period of time, you discover that you are contributing bits and bits knowledge in your area of interest. Okay. Two things, learn how to write in a non-technical way, that is in a simple way and learn how to network using social networking platform you don't have to be all going out so we have all the excuses for not doing that but you can still do that if you want to do so thank you guys for tuning into the channel this week and i hope you have learned something new if this is your first time of coming onto the channel please do want to click the red button below subscribe and like and ask questions ask questions ask questions thank you guys see you again in my next video bye